In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your servant from Matthew, who for love of Christ walked the way of perfect charity, may rejoice in the coming of your glory, and together with his brothers may delight in the everlasting happiness of your kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. In those days, the noble Judas took up a collection, man by man, to the amount of 2,000 drachmas of silver, and sent it to Jerusalem to provide for a sin offering. In doing this, he acted very well and honorably, taking account of the resurrection. For if he were not expecting that those who had fallen would rise again, it would have been superfluous and foolish to pray for the dead. But if he was looking to the splendid reward that is laid up for those who fall asleep in godliness, it was a holy and pious thought. Therefore, he made atonement for the dead so that they might be delivered from their sin. The word of the Lord. We say together, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, listen. I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must, must, must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Amen. resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In those days, Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. 
and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. The word of the Lord. Mr. President, Your Excellency, Lieutenant of Grand Master Framarco, Excellencies, dear members of the Mephra Matthews family, dear confreres, dear friends. First of all, I would like to express my deep gratitude to our Holy Father, Francis, who asked, who asked me to personally preside over this celebration in his name and I add my personal greetings and thanks to the President of the Republic of Malta, George William Vela, and to Archbishop Sicruna for having allowed the celebration and the entombment of Grand Master Festin in the crypt of the, the great, the grand, the grand Masters in this glorious cathedral dedicated to our patron, St. John the Baptist. As a faith community, we are gathered in this beautiful and historical cathedral to say farewell and commend to God, bailiff, grand prior, knight of justice, and former prince and grand master of the sovereign or military order of Malta and former Grand Prior of England, from Matthew Festi. A person of deep Christian conviction, from Matthew was aware and proud that in his mother's English requisite family line is included blessed Sir Adrian Fortescue, martyred in 1539. To the choice of becoming a Knight of Justice, from Matthew dedicated his life to the mission of the order, a mission that has remained constant through the centuries, to Itzio Fidei of Secium Pauperum, the defense of the faith and the service of the poor. History doesn't stay still, but it constantly moves. It moves forward without ceasing. Indeed, today's battles are fought by the order, not with a sword, but with a more effective weapon of charity toward the poor and the sick. The order is therefore engaged with the profess, its members in obedience, its large number of knights, its volunteers, its dames, in the vast field of the world, in promoting justice, creating peaceful coexistence, aiming at realizing the dream Pope Francis has placed before our eyes, that we are all brothers and sisters, a fundamental message of the gospel. From Matthew Festi, 79th Prince and Grand Master of our Sovereign Military Order of Malta, had been elected on March 2008 and has retired in full obedience and with great humility and discretion in 2017. From Matthew, had as one of his priorities to promote more vocations as knights of justice, and Providence called them to eternal life. When he came to Malta, where a solemn profession was celebrated after many years of interruption. 
This circumstance sends us a message at this moment when the reform of the life of the order is underway and will lead us to updated constitution and to a updated milit militancy code. It is a message that calls us to root ourselves in the religious identity of the order and to pray that the Lord may send generous vocations to continue the mission of the order in fidelity to the inspiration of Blessed Gerard, who formed a new religious family of lay religious in the hospital in Jerusalem for pilgrims, for sick, for people without resources about 1,000 years ago. From Matthew, through his obedience and prayer life, leaves us a legacy that strengthens the order and invites us to follow the same path. The fruitful cooperation of the various categories of persons who together carry on the original charism of the order is a strong witness of the united spirit and action that moves us on. As we look around this island, there is plenty of evidence of its Christian tradition, beginning with the refuge provided to the Apostle Paul after his shipwreck. Storms and conflicts have not disappeared and they mark the course of our existence. There is no surprise in this, but mutual love and respect has to always prevail. From Matthew contributed his part in pursuing this dream by this encouraging the order along this line. If the whole church takes up this missionary impulse, she has to go forth to everyone without exception. But to whom should she go first? When we read the gospel, we find clear indication, not so much our friends and wealthy neighbors, but above all the poor and the sick those who are usually despised and overlooked, those who cannot repay you. There can be no room for doubt or for explanation which we can so clear a message. Today and always, and I quote Pope Francis, the poor are the privileged recipients of the gospel. And the fact that it is freely preached to them is a sign of the kingdom that Jesus came to establish. We have to st state without mincing words that there is an inseparable bond between our faith and the poor. May we never abandon them. After nine centuries, the mission of the order continues to inspire and it advances on the main road of the church, faithful to its teaching and to all those who like from Matthew. And may he rest in peace, tried without fear, of their limits to implement the gospel message. The word of Jesus to Mary and Martha echo in our ears. Jesus is the source of life. He continues to share his life with us. And even those who are passing to another form of life continue to enjoy the blessing of his generosity.
And may God bless you. Dear brothers and sisters, the resurrection of our Lord fills the whole universe with the hope of eternal life. We are certain of Christ's victory over sin and death. Let us present to the Father the needs of the church and of the world. Let us pray for God's holy church. May the Father of the risen and living Lord Jesus Christ preserve her in the profession of the true faith and strengthen her in the face of temptation and adversity. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, teacher of love, assist him in his mission and let him be his messenger of the will of God for us even in this hour of suffering and difficulty. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sovereign order of Malta. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the meek and humble King, through the intercession of Saint John the Baptist, Blessed Gerard, keep the members of the order true to their promises, defending the faith and caring for the poor. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick and the dying. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, conqueror of all suffering and death, console them in the anguish and grant them the hope of eternal life. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the poor and the afflicted. May the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ rich in love, fulfill the every need and bring their cry to the ears of their brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all baptized. May the Father of the Lord, uh, the Father of Jesus, the obedient Son, lead them to the joy of full communion with him and transform them so they will strive always for love and peace. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, Father, who in the Easter of Jesus have made us your children, hear our prayer and fill us with your spirit that we may live as your sons and daughters in hope of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of, of your servant from Matthew, we beseech your mercy as he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection is dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when his earthly dwelling turned to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and without end we acclaim. Holy. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, in a similar way, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
therefore we celebrate, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, my brother Charles, Bishop of this church, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember your servant from Matthew, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, his spouse, with St. John the Baptist, with the blessed apostles, St. Saint Francis Xavier and all the saints, who may have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Christ our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and abandon us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and stay from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your life, your death gave life to the world. Free me for this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. And keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother from Matthew may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. With faith in Jesus Christ, we must reverently bury the body of our brother Matthew. Let us pray with confidence to God in those in whose sight all creation lives, that he will raise up in holiness and power the mortal body of our brother and command his soul to be numbered among the blessed. May God grant him merciful judgment, deliverance from death, and pardon of sin. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, carry him home to be at peace with the Father. May he, he rejoice forever in the presence of the eternal King and in the company of all the saints. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon your servant. In this life, they are signs of, to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with you, our brother, forever. Amen. Into paradise may the angels lead you. At your coming may the martyrs receive you and lead you to the holy city, Jerusalem. May the choir of angels receive you, and with Lazarus once a beggar, may you have eternal rest. Rest eternal grant unto him, O Lord, and the light of perpetual, perpetual light shine upon him.
Oratio equitum, Domine Iesu, cui me milizie equitum santi Ioannis me Jerusalemitani participe in fiere dignatus es, te humiliter de precor, ut beata Maria Virginia Filermo, Santo Ioanne Battista, Beato Gerardo, cuntisque santis intercedentibus ad sacra ordinis nostri instituta servanda menigne mea diues, religionem catholicam, apostolicam, romanam, firmiter colam ac adversus in pietatem strenum defendum.